there children are you ready for another fun field learning this is teacher Jo teaching you English for do you still remember what we have read last time we read something about books right what we read are called paragraphs oh were you asking what a paragraph is we have learned that a paragraph is made up of sentences that focus on a single idea. We can find paragraphs in the things that we read like newspapers, textbooks, and even in our favorite children's stories. Now that we know what a paragraph is, let us try to identify its parts. Let us take a look at this example of a paragraph. Kids, read with me. Maria loves playing with her dolls. She always combs their hair. She always plays dress up with them. Sometimes, she even gives them a bath. Maria's day wouldn't be complete without playing with her dolls. As you can see, the first line of the paragraph is indented. Read the first sentence again. Maria loves playing with her dolls. This sentence tells us about Maria and her dolls, and this is what we call the topic sentence. The topic sentence gives the reader an insight or idea as to what the whole paragraph is about. It states the main idea of a paragraph. Most of the time, it is located at the beginning of a paragraph, but sometimes it can also be found in the middle or even at the end of a paragraph. You have to read the paragraph well so that you will be able to identify correctly the topic sentence. Now, most of the sentences in the paragraph are considered supporting sentences. Hmm, and what are supporting sentences? Supporting sentences make up the body of a paragraph. It expands the topic sentence in detail to develop the idea presented on it. That is why it is called as supporting details. The numbers of sentences vary, but the typical paragraph should have two or five supporting sentences. In this paragraph, there are three supporting sentences. Can you guess what they are? Let's see! Since the main idea of this paragraph is about Maria playing with her dolls, the supporting sentence might show how she plays with her dolls. Take a look at the second, third, and fourth sentences. All these sentences support the topic sentence. Maria plays with her dolls by combing their hair, playing dress-up with them, and sometimes giving them a bath. The third and last part of a paragraph is called the concluding sentence. A concluding sentence marks the end of a paragraph, and it summarizes or raises the key points of the paragraph. This is the last sentence in a paragraph. In this paragraph, it is concluded that Maria's day wouldn't be complete without playing with her dolls. Let us recall the parts of a paragraph. The topic sentence shows the main idea of the paragraph. Supporting sentences make up the body of a paragraph and expand the topic sentence in detail to develop the idea presented on it. And the concluding sentence marks the end of the paragraph and summarizes or raises the key point of the paragraph. <laughs> I think you're getting really skilled on this, and I hope you're still up on our next activity. Read each sentence carefully, because in a while, we are going to answer questions about it. Are you ready? Great! Read with me. Read with me. My favorite subjects are English, Mathematics, and Science. I love English because I love reading and writing stories. Next is Mathematics. 
because when I was still young, my mother taught me about addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. My interest in science began when we had a field trip in a zoo where I had so many questions about animals. I always top the class in these subjects, but I work hard to love the other subjects as well. Did you understand the paragraph? Let's divide it according to its parts. Ready? What is the topic sentence in the paragraph? If you answered sentence number one, your answer is right. The sentence tells us the main idea, which is about the favorite subjects of the speaker. Now, how many supporting sentences are there? Did you say three? Very good! There are three supporting sentences in the paragraph. And what are they? The second to fourth sentences of this paragraph explain why the speaker's favorite subjects are English, Mathematics, and Science. Meanwhile, the concluding sentence is the last sentence which tells us the key point of the whole paragraph. Congratulations! I'm sure you did well in our activities. But if you didn't get all the correct answers, it's okay because there's always room for improvement. I know you're enthusiastic to learn more. Let us read the paragraph flashed on your screen. And let's identify what part of the paragraph is missing. Berto, unlike his friends, listened attentively to the resource speaker. He never lets his friends disturb him from actively listening. When the speaker was done, he asked a question. To everybody's surprise, only Berto was able to answer it. Truly, you can never run out of ideas when you are an active listener. What do you think is the best topic sentence that will complete the paragraph? A. Active listening can be done while talking with others. B. Active listening helps an individual understand well the message of the speaker. Letter C. Effective listening makes an individual fall asleep. If your answer is letter B, active listening helps an individual understand well the message of the speaker, then you are correct. Good job, kids! Let's try some more as we travel the Philippines, shall we? Choose the sentence that is not relevant to the given topic sentence. Write the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. For number one, the topic sentence is, Philippines is home to beautiful beaches. Which sentence do you think is not relevant? Is it letter A, the white beach of Boracay attracts tourists to visit its clear water and fine white sand? Or letter B, Mayon Volcano in Albay is famous for its perfect cone shape. Or is it letter C? Karamoan Beach in Karamoan Camarines Sur invites everyone to escape the city for a while and try some adventures while enjoying the breathtaking scenery of the island. Second topic sentence is, also known as Pearl of the Orient, the Philippines is an archipelago consisting of 7,641 islands and islets. The sentence that is not relevant is, Letter A, The three biggest islands in the Philippines are Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Letter B, Most of the places are surrounded by bodies of water. Or, Letter C, San Juanico Bridge is the longest bridge and the country which connects the province of Samar and Leyte. And for the last topic sentence, it is more fun in the Philippines. Which sentence is not relevant? It may be letter A. Filipinos celebrate different colorful, grandiose, and music-filled festivals with sumptuous foods prepared. Or letter B. Hiking, driving, and surfing are some of the adventures you can enjoy with your friends. 
Or could it be letter C? Philippines is a democratic country. Let's now check our answers. The sentence that is not relevant for number one is letter B. Mayon Volcano in Albay is famous for its perfect cone shape. The topic sentence is about beaches found in the Philippines, and Mayon Volcano is not a beach. For number two, the answer is letter C. San Juanico Bridge is the longest bridge in the country, which connects the province of Samar and Leyte. The topic sentence talks about the Philippines as an archipelago, and San Juanico Bridge has nothing to do with it. And for number three, the sentence that is not relevant for topic sentence is letter C. Philippines is a democratic country. Sentences A and B talk about the fun activities that can be done in the Philippines, while sentence in letter C talks about democracy which is not relevant to the topic sentence. Good job! I am sure you got an excellent score! Now that you can recognize the topic sentence and the supporting sentences in the paragraph, let us now explore the last part, the concluding sentence. Can we give the best concluding sentence in the paragraph? I'm going to show you. I think this will be an easy one. Let's keep going. Nutritious foods are what our body needs. Eating vegetables instead of fatty foods helps our body function better. Fruits supply the body with different vitamins and minerals that help fight diseases. Meat, beans, and fish provide our body with protein, which is needed for muscle building. Salty and junk foods harm our body. What do you think is the best concluding sentence of the paragraph? Is it A? If you want to live longer, eat only nutritious foods. Or, letter B, junk foods have benefits to our bodies. Or maybe it's letter C. In short, foods are delicious. What is your answer? The best option is letter A. If you want to live longer, eat only nutritious foods. Because it best concludes the sentences in the paragraph. If you got the correct answer, thumbs up, children! The next activity is an easy one. Read each paragraph and choose the best concluding sentence that will best complete the paragraph. Write the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. My grandmother is a loving and strong woman. She loves me more than anything else. She is my personal nurse. When I am sick, she always finds a solution to our problems. What do you think is the best concluding sentence? Is it letter A? She's the most loving and strongest person I have in my life. Or is it letter B? She is the best woman in my life. Or letter C? She is the woman that I love the most. My pet dog is my best friend. We walk around the garden every morning. We play together at the park in the afternoon. He is always with me wherever I go. I love my pet so much. He listens attentively to my funny jokes. What could be the best concluding sentence? Is it letter A? My pet dog is the kindest one. Letter B? My pet dog knows how to give me comfort and happiness like a real best friend. Or letter C? I am lucky for having a nice pet dog. There are many things I enjoy doing in our garden. I help my brother water the plants. I am happy watching the seeds growing. My eyes become bigger when I see fruits ripening day by day. The best concluding sentence is letter A. In short, I enjoy the garden because I love planting. Letter B, I love the fresh air in the garden. Or letter C, the smell of flowers is sweet. 
Let us now check your answers. For number one, the best answer is letter A. She's the most loving and strongest person that I have in my life. For number two, the correct option is letter B. My pet dog knows how to give me comfort and happiness like a real best friend. And now, for the last item, the best concluding sentence is letter A. In short, I enjoy the garden because I love planting. Yay! You're doing a great job! We are now about to finish our lesson about paragraph. I think you are ready to take the test for the assessment. I know you can do this. Read the questions carefully and write the letters of your answers on your answer sheet. Good luck! Number 1. What are the parts of a paragraph? A. First part, second part, and third part. Letter B. Character, events, and setting. Letter C. Topic sentence, supporting sentences, and a concluding sentence. Number 2. Which part of the paragraph introduces the main idea? Letter A. Concluding sentence. Letter B. Supporting sentences. Letter C. Topic sentence. Number 3. This part of a paragraph includes sentences that support the topic sentence. Letter A. Concluding sentence. Letter B. Supporting sentences. Letter C. Topic sentence. Number 4. What is a concluding sentence? Letter A. It summarizes the main idea of the paragraph. Letter B. It provides information to the topic sentence. Letter C. It tells the reader what the paragraph is all about. Now, read this paragraph to answer questions number 5, 6, and 7. My biggest dream in life is to become a doctor. I love watching movies where doctors are happy about saving lives of people. I will become a doctor to my grandfather who is sick. I will give him his medicine and check his body temperature too. I feel amazed at how doctors are being respected in our community. I want to become a doctor because I want to help my dearest grandfather fight cancer. The fifth question is, which of the following is the topic sentence of the paragraph? Letter A. I want to become a doctor because I want to help my dearest grandfather fight cancer cells in his body. Letter B. My biggest dream in life is to become a doctor. Letter C. I will become a doctor to my grandfather who is sick. Number 6. Identify all the supporting sentences for the given paragraph. Letter A. The school also guides them to discover their talents, skills, and interests in life. Letter B. I love watching movies where doctors are happy about saving the lives of people. Letter C. Life shapes us to become strong and independent. We learn from the problems that we encounter. Letter D. I will become a doctor to my grandfather who is sick. I will give him his medicine and check his body temperature too. Letter E. I feel amazed at how doctors are being respected in our community. Number 7. What is the concluding sentence in the paragraph? Letter A. I will give him medicine and check his body temperature too. Letter B. I want to become a doctor because I want to help my dearest grandfather fight cancer cells in his body. Letter C. My biggest dream in life is to become a doctor. For items 8 to 10, enumerate the parts of a paragraph. Are you excited to know your scores? I will reveal the answers so you will know how much you have learned. Ready? 
The answer for number 1 is letter C. For number 2, the answer is letter C. For number 3, it's letter B. The answer for number 4 is letter A. For number 5, the answer is B. For number 6, it's letters B, D, and E. The answer for number 7 is B. And for numbers 8, 9, and 10, it's topic sentence, supporting sentences, and concluding sentence. There you go. I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today because you did a great job. Stay inspired and motivated in learning the English language. So, let me leave you with a quotation from Edmund Burke. Reading without reflecting is like eating without digesting. Again, this is Teacher Jo and see you all next time.